Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to insert a picture or a link into your email signature in Outlook Express. Um, I do have an article on it at my website. If you want, you can go to tipsforpc.com. Um, you don't have to remember that address. You just go to the search box at the top of every page and type in Outlook Express or something like that and it'll come up with the pages. Um, it's a top article, top rated article, um, but the thing is um, I thought people might want to see it for themselves how to do it because not everyone is good at um, writing HTML. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up a notepad and I'm going to write some um, text in there. So I'll just get on the bottom here and press on a notepad. Okay. Now I'm going to type um, a link and it's also going to be to an image. I'm going to put an image in there as well. <coughs> now I actually copied my text and um, I'm just going to paste it in for now. So what we're going to do is make sure the cursor is up there and I'm just going to uh, press control and V. Okay, and that pasted the text in that I'd copied earlier. Um, now I'm just going to tell you um, about it. Now the A H E R E F equals right. This part here is where, right to there. Okay, that is where it's going to link to. Okay. Now, see how it's in quotation marks? Right, now we've got a space here. Now, you have to do this exact or else it won't work. Um, so, what you're going to do is you're going to put your own, wherever you want to link to, that's what you're going to put in there. Okay, now I've got, you don't need this part, but I've put it there. Target equals top. Okay, um, that means there's a few different choices. You can um, make it. Um, open up in the same page when you click on that link or you can make it um, open up in another page in a new window and stuff like that now um, we don't need that so I'm just going to take that out for you okay and we'll leave it like that so we'll just make it nice and simple so we've got the link and then we've got the in quotation marks um, now we're starting on a, where the um, actual image is. Okay. Now we don't need this part either, border. So we're going to take that away. This is because I've just copied this text. Now if I'm just going to show you how it is to um, just write it easily. Now what we're going to do, it says image, IMG is short for image. But don't write image, just make sure you write that. Then one space and then SRC equals and then quotation marks again. Now this, all of this here, okay, all that there, that is the link to the image, okay. <coughs> then we've got quotation marks and a space and then ALT which is the text that when you mouse over a picture that's what you'll see equals quotation marks and this is what they're going to see I wrote that in you can write anything you like in there um, this is what they're going to see when they actually mouse over the picture okay now I've put the width and the height in because the actual image may be bigger than you want. Now if I change that it would make it smaller, okay? Um, you can make it smaller, bigger or whatever you like. Um, the other thing is that I'm just, later on I'll show you how to find out the URL of the image because that's what you need there if you want to put an image in. But now we are just going to carry on and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. Okay, I'm going to go up the top and I'm going to press save as. Okay, 
Now I've saved one there, but that's not what I want. I don't want a text file, so I'm going down here. And I'm just going to um, write, see how it's got .txt? Well, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to um, type in my own. Okay, so we'll just put email, sig, right, dot, and then html. Now, oop, ml, make sure it's ml. Now, that's the important thing there. We, it was a text file, but now it's a HTML file, okay? So, it's basically a little web page, right? So, make sure you've got that .html, okay? Because otherwise, it won't be able to read that code that you've written. Right, so now we're saving it. So, just make sure you know where you're saving it to. Now, I'm saving it in F drive, okay? Now, okay, guys, now I'm going to go and see if it worked and I'm going to open up Out Express okay and we're going to go up to the tools menu and go down to this menu and choose options now up the top here we've got all these choices here we just want to go to signatures okay now we've got a signature there so we're just going to remove that signature and start from scratch so you can see how to do it Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to press on New. Okay, now we're going down the bottom and it, you can write your text in here, your phone numbers and stuff, but we don't want to do that because we've created a file. So we're going to press on File and then we're going to go and find it. Okay, so the email signature text comes up, but that's not what we wanted. We wanted the HTML file. Okay, and it's in the right spot. So what we've got to do is come down the bottom here and it says it's showing us text files but we want to see all files or HTML files. We'll choose all files. Now we'll go up and we'll see that they've brought out more files for us. Okay, so we're going to choose the one we made, email sig. Okay, see it's come up there. Now we're going to press open. Okay, so now we've got the file here. Now what we've got to do, which is very important, if you don't press apply, it's not going to work at all. Okay, you just have to go and redo the whole lot. So we're going to press apply and then OK. Okay, so here's our new email. So every time we open it up, that picture is going to come up. And um, it doesn't show that it links anywhere, but it does. Um, not until you send it to someone. Okay. Um, you can test it out yourself by sending it um, send it to yourself to another email address that you've got. Um, Alright, I think that's about it. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you was how I actually got um, the URL of that picture. So how did I know where to point it to? Okay, so what I'm going to do is close that email. And what I did is I went to the web page okay and I went to the picture that I like or that I wanted to use okay so um, just be careful of copyright because you don't want to steal someone else's picture so I'm just using my light my logo okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that picture now if you go right down the bottom it says properties okay now the properties for that picture comes up now the, here it is here, the URL. All I did was copy it by selecting it and then pressing copy. And that's how I found out where to point it to. Okay? Um, if you want any more information, like I said before, there's a really great article with heaps of details. It shows you the HTML in details and it's all colour coded. Um, it's not easy when you're first trying to work it out. Um, yeah, so go to the website at tipsforpc.com and um, go into the top search box up there and just search for Outlook Express and you'll come up with an email like that. Alright, um, thanks for listening.